Welcome to a Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. There had to be a first time on my channel, and I'm just glad that it's this. This is a note that I presented uh, firstly, one of my first five videos, and I didn't do it very well. I think I've learned a thing or two in the 20-odd videos since then, but this video never really was found to be that interesting, and I fear it may have been more of the production quality than of the note itself. I have a personal link to this note in that my birthday is July 17th, and I was a year old when the Shah was overthrown by his brother-in-law, Prince Mohammed Daoud Khan. This is a um, bank note where the portrait was engraved by the great Stanley Doubtfire at the company of Thomas Delarue. This is a 1,000 Afghanis of Afghanistan, dated 1977. Standard Catalog of World Paper Money calls this a PIC 53. The bank notebook calls this a B336. Wikipedia is where I got more of my information on the subject matter on the back and the front of this note. The note is primarily brown, red, and violent. The vase, <laughs> brown, red, and violet, not violent. The face shows Mohammed Daoud on the left. He's also depicted as a watermark to the right. Um, an entry, the back has a vignette of the Noble Shrine or the Blue Mosque in Masri Sharif. An interesting tidbit is that the blue tiles of the mosque that I will show you soon um, is still being manufactured and used to replace tiles as they fall from the mosque. Here's a picture of that Noble Shrine right here. Doves of any color are said to become pure white when they enter the area of this mosque. The shrine that you see um, in front is for Hazrat Ali, who was the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad. It had the honor of being destroyed by Genghis Khan in the 13th century. And here's another piece of tidbit. It may not actually be a shrine for Ali, but it may be a shrine for Zoroaster, who lived and died nearby. Zoroaster is the, the founder and the main um, prophet for Zoroastrianism. On April 28th of 1978, Prince Muhammad Daud was assassinated along with his wife and seven of his children. Sukhoi Su-7s fired on the palace. They were not honored in death they were thrown into a mass grave, and it was only recently that they have been given a state funeral after their uh, grave was exhumed, and their bodies identified mainly by a miniature golden Quran that had been given to Muhammad Daud by the king of Saudi Arabia. For me, it's a very sad story of a man who did his best to keep his country free and to give them a taste of what they'd never had that of living in a free country where a vote mattered. Collectors of bald men, dress suits, ties, Windsor knots, mosques, or multicolored notes would be pleased to have this note in their collection. And as common as this note seems to be, it did take me some time to try to find it. When you find it, expect to pay between a dollar and twenty dollars, depending on the condition that you like to collect a note in. This is a beautiful note with a beautiful and tragic history. This has been Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Please like, click on the purple circle to subscribe to my channel and receive updates automatically on any future content. Thank you for your time.